Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Patsy and today I'm going to be showing you the 2016 tutorial for how to use Shadow Play. So, what you're going to want to need is you're going to have to have an NVIDIA graphics card. So, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to do this if you're an AMD user. So, rip to you, I guess. But anyway, if you are using an NVIDIA graphics card, doesn't matter what version it is, you should be all good to go for this tutorial. So, what you want to want to do is you want to want to download GeForce experience. So go ahead and download that in the description below. Click on it, download it, do whatever the hell you want, and um, you should get to this GeForce experience client. Uh, when you first open it, you're gonna have to download or you're gonna have to log in even using either an Nvidia account or you can use a Google account. Doesn't really matter. As long as you've logged in, you should be all good to go. So once you're on a window that's similar to mine, it will start scanning for your games so um, yeah if you can if you want to optimize your games you can do that but we're not really going to be going over that in this video so if you got all this you got these windows you got your drivers you got your, you got your home screen obviously but um, in the top right you should be able to see sort of like a share symbol so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on that share symbol and it should uh, take you to a overlay of GeForce Experience. It's not called Shadow Play anymore. I don't know why they changed it, but it doesn't really matter. Um, we've got three options here. We're not going to go over streaming. We're just going to be going over recording for today. Uh, if you guys really want me to do a streaming setup or streaming settings, the best settings for that, uh, you can just go ahead and leave it down in the comments below. And if there's enough support for it, I'll do it. But for now, uh, I'm just going to be going over the um, recording settings. So we've got instant replay, which it was called like shadow mode before, but they've changed it up a bit. So you've got instant replay, you've got recording, which is pretty much your basic recording. But uh, instant replay is a bit of an interesting one because it's sort of different. So with instant replay, you can set however long you want it to record for. So say five minutes, 10 minutes, doesn't really matter. So what it basically does is um, it records the 10 minutes of gameplay that uh, it records your previous 10 minutes. So as soon as you press the, the hotkey that corresponds to instant replay, the 10 minutes that you've recorded previously will instantly be downloaded. So it's sort of like a thing where if you accidentally forget to, I guess, start recording, um, this is sort of like a safety thing. So like you can press the button and you basically won't lose any of your any of your recordings because it always records no matter what. So this is a really really good sort of backup th strategy if you if you forget the record. And it's also good for getting clips of highlights. So say if you want to leave it, if you want to put it to like 5 minutes so you don't have to go through all that footage if you have it on 20. Uh, you can put on five minutes just so you don't have to go through all that footage looking for your highlight. So we've got that. We've got your quality as well. We've got low, medium, high, custom. Um, I wouldn't recommend using any of these. Uh, I recommend just using custom and um, setting your bitrate to about like 65-ish. It's sort of like the midpoint between um, 0 and 130. This is going to be giving you a really, really good quality because it's going to be less pixelated say if you've then set yeah if you put it on 50 it will be slightly pixelated that's sort of the high setting there but i would recommend if you've got a decent upload you can uh definitely set your bitrate at 65 70 between 60 and 70 is probably the most optimal um range but uh go ahead and play with that um just yeah Whatever you, um, whatever your upload speed is, if you've got a lower upload upload speed, you can definitely, you know, tone it down a bit. But 65, 70, that's a good range to have, um, to have it at because it's gonna be, it's gonna have a lot better of quality. So we've got resolution as well. You've got your in-game resolution. So say for example, your in-game resolution is 1080p. It'll record at 1080p. It's pretty standard stuff to be honest. And you can obviously record at 4K or 2K if you want, but um, yeah, I would recommend just leaving it, leaving it at in-game because you can honestly, if your in-game um, resolution is at 4K, it'll record at 4K. 
pretty standard stuff. So you got your frame rate, don't really want to touch that. 30 FPS if you want, but uh, I would recommend leaving just at 60 FPS just because it's going to be a lot more smoother. So that's your instant replay there. You've also got recording. That's your basic recording. So you press the button, starts recording, and then whatever button you pressed previously, you can do it again, and it will stop recording. So it's basically your recording, uh, basic recording uh, software. So if you're, again, low, medium, and high, I would obviously recommend pretty much the same settings as you've used for your instant replay. So yeah, use the use the instant replay settings for auto recording as well. So you've got your broadcast settings, but I'm not really going to go into that. You can, uh, if you want to, if you want to, want me to make a different video on recording again or streaming again, uh, you can go ahead and leave that in the comments. But for now, I'm not going to really touch on that. So you've got your mic. You can put it on push to talk, or you can put it on always on, or you can have it off, or you can customize it to have your volume, whatever you want. I wouldn't even recommend using a mic. I'd recommend just using Audacity or something to record your audio because it's going to be the quality is going to be a lot more. Um, it's going to be a lot better. So, so what you want to go is into the cog sort of um, symbol, and this is going to be your um, I guess shortcuts and everything. So if you've got connect, you don't really need to know about any of that. You've got your overlays. So you've got your status indicator. So if you're recording it will have a green um, green sort of circle and if you're not recording it won't have anything if you've got your FPS counter you can put it whatever position you want so if you want it in the top left you can have it in the top left but mm, top right is good enough so yeah that's gonna record the or that's gonna show the FPS that you're getting within the game and obviously if you're live streaming you can see what viewers you've got but it doesn't really matter uh, you've got keyboard shortcuts as well Again, this is just personal preference. You can have it at the default settings. I've definitely changed a lot of my um, shortcuts as well. This was um, this is Alt Z, but I've changed it to Alt X. And just basically, yeah, play around with those. Do whatever the hell you want with sh um, the keyboard shortcuts. But yeah, just up to your pre personal preference. Recordings. This is obviously where you're gonna uh, save your recordings. Mine's in my F drive. Again, do whatever you want. You can um, save it to whatever um, hard drive, or if you've got an SSD, you can save it to that as well. Doesn't really matter. Uh, and that's pretty much it, to be honest, for for the Shadow Play tutorial. Um, yeah. So if you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, and uh, I'll see you guys in maybe another tutorial. So anyway, see you guys later.